Hi and welcome to my channel. Today we're going to review the Wise Cam version 2 WYZE C2 model number. And one of the main reasons I wanted to review this camera was because of the price. This is a camera that costs between $20 and $25 pretty much anywhere you find it. And the reason that's so impressive is because wherever you look online this thing gets four or five star reviews all over the place. I happen to pick mine up at Micro Center, but I see them on Amazon or there's a lot of other online places you can buy them and they're always $20 to $25. Don't pay any more than that. When you take this thing out of the box, the first thing you notice is how small it is. The entire camera must measure about 2 by 2 inches. The camera also comes with a great mounting system. It's basically a swivel system that you can mount on a wall, on the floor, on the ceiling, anywhere you want to mount it, it'll mount. Here's another look so you can see the mount from the side. The mount will let you angle the camera up or down very easily. One thing to mention too is this is a powered camera, so you actually have a plug. It's a USB to a standard power outlet, and you need to plug in the camera at all times. The camera also has a speaker on the back which allows you to speak into it in case someone's actually in your house, you can say something to them, and you can also hear what's going on. You might notice the USB port there also, that allows you to stick in a USB drive, and you can actually continuously record and keep that recording as long as you need it. It should be noted that this is actually a cloud-based system also, which is free. It'll record videos for you like up to 15 seconds or so, so when you get some motion, you can actually go back and see those videos from the cloud. And I'll show you that in a couple minutes here. Here's one more shot so you can see the size of the camera. Okay, so you can download the app. I actually have Android here, but it works on Android and iPhone. It's important to note that this only works on the phone. You can't actually view this online or on your computer, so you do need a cell phone for this to work. All right, I'm going to launch the app now. Okay, once you launch the app and pick the camera that you want to view, you're going to see a screen like this that actually shows you a small sample of the, the video that your camera is producing. This screen will show you live video of your camera and also have a bit rate in the upper left hand corner because you can record in standard and high definition and it'll have a timestamp in the lower right hand corner. From this screen you can also toggle the sound on and off. This allows you to hear what's going on around the camera. You can also record videos from this. You can actually speak so that if someone's in your house you can speak to them directly. You can take a one-time photo and then there's a more settings. In the upper right hand corner there's a little gear up there and that actually brings you to more settings like motion detection and things like that. All right, I'm going to show you one last time here. Um, this screen here shows you all your cameras. I only have one, so I'm going to click on the one I have. It's going to load up the screen I was just talking about a second ago. From here, you can actually tilt your phone and get into a landscape mode, which will show the image much larger. This is the real-time video of what you're looking at. You can actually zoom in on this if you need to to see various aspects of the image as well. This is one part I wanted to show you. Uh, this is the place where you can actually go in and see your cloud storage. So you can go back to any of the days that actually had some kind of motion and you can see about 12 seconds of that video and it's going to show it. It's going to save it for about 12 seconds. So any day that had actual motion will be saved and that'll all be up on the cloud even if you don't have a storage USB drive inside the camera. And I finally just wanted to show you the area where you can change it from HD to standard definition. It'll show you the bit rate here and you can change this depending on how your internet connection is. I typically like to leave it as standard definition uh, most of the time because it uses less bandwidth. So when you press that gear icon you get to a couple more settings screens. This is the alert settings screen. So inside of here you're going to have the motion detection settings, the sound detection settings, the smoke alarm sound detection settings. Those sound detection settings will actually alert you if it hears your uh, fire alarm go off, so it's actually pretty useful. And also the CO alarm sound detection, which is basically the same thing. And it also has your alert schedule. You can actually schedule when the alert should come on and when they should go off. And then under the advanced settings, you're going to actually have your local storage settings where you can manage your local storage if you have a USB in there. Um, your night vision mode, which you can actually set to auto. This does have night vision, so it's gray and black at night if it's no lights on. You have your camera status light if you want to keep it hidden. You can rotate images. You can timestamp um, your images or your video, the logo, and then you can record sounds and sync time. So it's got a lot of different settings for this camera. Just a couple last details. This does work with Alexa. Um, that's actually an added bonus. The camera itself is 1080p, it's HD, um, and you can see some of the other specs here that we can go through quickly. 
Here are a couple more specs for the camera. Um, you can actually go ahead and pause it here if you want to go ahead and take a look at all the different specs that the camera does offer. A couple of the key things here are the night vision it comes with. It does come with a free rolling 14 day cloud storage. Um, it has continuous recording, two way audio, things like that. One thing to note though that it does not work with the 5 gigahertz Wi Fi networks and it only works with 2.4 gigahertz networks. Not sure why, but that's something that you want to watch out for. My overall impression of the camera is a positive one. I've had great results with it. It takes clear pictures and I do give it four or five stars for sure. One last thing to note too is its ease of setup. It takes about five minutes to set up. Also, please subscribe to my channel. It helps me grow this channel and I'll be able to make more videos like this. I need your help to grow it. Thanks again for watching.